Hello YouTube. We're at an undisclosed location for a special episode of Project Golf Course Lawn. If you guys remember Alex's top dressing video, the guy that was doing the awesome job with the, with the leveling rake, Tony, we're at his place. He recently moved in and you can see the lawn, it's, it, it needs some love guys. It's in a state of disrepair. The, the previous owner uh, didn't do very much with it. So we are going to see what we can do to, uh, to pre this up a little bit. So I'll take you guys around and I'll show you a quick tour of the lawn. You can see how the front lawn's looking a little bit, a little bit bare, kind of dry. Looks like it really needs some fertilizer and, and some love. Uh, and then the side lawn, there's tons of shade in this area here, which is going to present a problem to grow grass, but we'll, we'll see what we can do. So you guys already see step one. Alex, being the beast that he is, has already got the aerator out there. We're already putting in some work. So he's going to aerate the lawn, and then we're going to put down a nice starter fertilizer to get things going. That's good form, sir. It's good form. Take you guys around to the back area. And again, overall, the lawn just looks really thin. Like, you look at how thin the Bermuda is. A lot of this is just from not being cut. Um, kind of like you guys remember my, my mantra when it comes to Bermuda. The big thing with getting Bermuda to grow well is to cut it regularly at the right height with the right equipment. We haven't quite, quite got Tony uh, convinced on a real mower as yet, but just getting it, you know, getting it the lawn healthier and getting him to start mowing a little more, more consistently is going to go a long way. The back lawn is really cool. You can see this is a really kind of private area, not really big, not a huge space to have to work on to improve. Um, but, but still, again, just needs, needs some love to, to help improve the situation. And in this area up here, we come back to the driveway. Um, you can see like this is going to be a challenging spot to, 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 to fill in because this is quite a slope. And when it rains, you can tell water runs down here. But we're going to area this entire area. And now we're going to put down a starter fertilizer on the lawn. So let me show you, show you guys what we're going to, uh, to throw down. Shameless plug for the, uh, for the FD. What we're gonna be using today, guys, is a starter fert from Scott's. So the makeup of this is, I think it's a 25, 24, four, if memory serves me right. So it's got that nitrogen, it's got that um, phosphorus hit, and then finally just a splash of potassium, which we can always add more of later. We haven't done a soil test, but just looking at the lawn, I can tell it's starved for nitrogen. It needs, it needs just the, the basics to get it going. So Alice is gonna continue aerating the lawn, and then we're gonna start putting this starter fert down and uh, you know, maybe we'll see. If you guys are interested in this, we'll track the development of this lawn and you guys can see how it, how it comes together. But I uh, just wanna show you guys something cool. See you in a minute. Hey guys, as you guys can see, Alex is doing an amazing job getting the, the lawn aerated. I want to share with you guys the spreader settings we're going to be using. Again, we're putting down the Scott's starter fertilizer. There'll be links in the description for that, but you can easily find that at your home depot or Lowe's. Pretty much all of them are always going to have that fertilizer in stock because it's a really, really good product. As far as what we're using on the um, even spread for spreader settings, we're running it at 13 today. That's a touch heavier than bag rate. Actual bag rate calls for around 11 on this spreader, um, but we're going to just a touch heavier because the lawn is really lacking. So we're going to put just a little bit more product down um, than actual rate just to kind of, you know, give, give the lawn as best chance to start growing uh, as we can. So in case you're interested in seeing, that's what the prill size looks like for this, uh, this starter fur. It's a fairly fine prill, you can see. And uh, that's what's gonna be going down on the lawn here. Well, as you can see, YouTube, it didn't take too long. Tony's lawn is really not that big. I, I'm really concerned about this area over here where we have all this tree cover. You guys take a look here and uh, see what we're working with. Like grass is really not grown in here at all. And I think a lot of that is just due to lack of shade. You know, regardless of what uh, you hear, like most grass needs uh, direct sunlight. So I don't know if we're gonna be able to do um, 
anything with this area to really get that to come back nicely. We'll see, but uh, at least the lawn's been aerated. Um, Alex, as you guys saw, uh, was making multiple passes. He went lengthwise and crossways. He really beat the lawn up, which is good to kind of, you know, get some fresh air, get the, get the, the, allow the fertilizer to work in. And when next time it rains, just to allow the lawn to get a jump start and we'll see if we can get this thing to start, start growing nicely. Took you guys around front. So the area that was fertilized was uh, Tony's vanity strip, which is uh, in progress and the entire front lawn. And as you guys can see, uh, Alex did a pretty good job. Again, I, we put down um, just, a, just a touch heavier than bag rate on that Scott's uh, starter furt. And, uh, you know, we'll see how it, how it develops. So Alex, you got any, any choice words for the, for the people? Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> uh, uh, we are aerating. I don't know where we're at on this, but yeah, we're, we're aerating today and uh, just beating up the yard so we can get some fertilizer in it and uh, amend the soil. Because obviously, as you can see, it's been neglected. Yeah, yeah, it, it definitely needs some love, but I think, but confidence is high, guys. Confidence is high that we can, we can oh, definitely yeah. bring this back. I mean, it just needs, it just needs some love, some regular mowing, and uh, I think today was the first step in really helping this. We don't know if this is going to be another Fix My Ugly Lawn series, but I figure it's something cool to share with you guys, and we'll, uh, you know, we'll track it. And if you guys are interested in seeing, let me know in the comments below. If you guys want to see how the lawn develops, leave a comment. I uh, think this is kind of cool because we've got some challenges with some shaded areas, so maybe we'll see how that, that works out. Guys, thank you so much for watching. We truly do appreciate it. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. We'll see you guys next time. Have an amazing day.